I'm Patty with AccuQuilt and today I'm here to talk to you about how to maintain your rag die. Today to demonstrate we're going to use the 8.5 inch rag die and as you can see um, there's a lot of extra little blades in this die and that is for your convenience. It pre-fringes your fabric so that when you cut it out uh, you sew it together and it's already pre-fringed. You don't have to do all that uh, extra hand cutting. But as you can see because of the uh, all the extra little blades you've got threads that embed in them um, and that's even when you make your first cut you'll notice that you've got some areas of, of thread that have stuck in it. To help you clean out your rag die um, we've provided you with a tool uh, it's a die pick it kind of looks like a dentist tool you'll find this in your Go fabric cutter the very first time that you buy it. it's usually attached to the back of the value die and really all you need to do is you need to pick in between the blade and the foam. The uh, blades are very sharp so we don't want your fingers in there. And you'll just pick at it to get some of the threads loose and then you can also use a tweezers to grab them as well. Um, there's really no magic number as to when you may need to clean your rag dye. Um, after you find you're not getting a really good cut maybe that's the time that you need to stop for a little while and clean it out. But certainly not after every single run through. Uh, the whole idea is just to make sure that the thread does not build up deeply inside the die so that you can't make a cut. Another suggestion that we have is to get a lint roller. Um, you'll just roll this after a couple of cuts and roll it on top and the stickiness picks up a lot of the extra threads that are just sitting on top and that will really help you maintain as well. Once you've got that cleaned up you can start to use it again when you're cutting flannel which most people use when making a rag die. Uh, you want to really lower your layers because that will give you better cuts um, and once you're ready you're just going to push it back through and you want to lift it off. I'm just going to get my scissors in case I have some things I need to snip. This looks good, don't need them. And now you've got your perfect 8.5 inch rag die. And as you can see, more thread. So I'm going to maintain this a little bit later again, but for now, you can keep going. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 888-258-7913 or contact us at www.acuquilt.com. Thank you.